everyone I've been playing and, and the thought crossed my mind that maybe we ought to be mixing and matching with these fantastic magic mandala dies so I'm gonna try to bring together a couple of cards um, using volume one and volume two um, I hope you like the demos but I've just mixed and matched just be careful that your dies all fit on your mats afterwards and that it's going to work together but i think you'll be surprised and hope it gives you a little bit of inspiration on making other cards i've cut the cards i've already done the die cutting part so i'm using a six by six card um this is the outer die in volume one if you remember it I think this is one of the inner dies in volume two and I think this is a bit of a mitch match it's one of the outer dies the matte dies but then I've taken central flower just to give a slightly bigger border around the edge so let's pop this one together I haven't tried this to see what it's going to look like but it's just another idea we all like to get a little bit more out of what we brought don't we I'm just going to pop some of this on here because I like to get my edges a little bit stuck down. I've cut this white in Linda's fantastic Fabio card. And then the coloured sections, I've used a woodstock. I love this really pinky, cerise colour. Very, very vibrant. And by doing that, just taking a little bit of glue, it, it means that you don't need to stick the middle down on this one. But there we go, that's our first layer. I need to just pop that one out there. It did come out. It has die cut properly. It's just that I didn't look when I've done my poking to make sure that I got everything out. There we go. Right, I do this with all my layers so that they're dry then by the time I sit down. You can stick it just in the middle if you like. You don't have to do the hand thing. But I like to get the outer one just just right. But I think they'll all work together quite nicely. And then we've got this one. I'm going to do that on my hand because we've got finer edges. So when we've got fine edges, I always do it like this. Do a test first before you start sticking stuff to yourself. Do, just do a skin test to make sure that you're not having any reaction but you could do a blob onto your desk and, and pop it through that like that couldn't you right there we go I've got some foam pads for this because I like to give a little bit of height I love height and dimension in a card maybe you might just stick the first layer on if if you're going to be sending through the post I can understand you know postage is quite expensive but we're just going to pop you don't need to cover every single corner of it you're sticking it to the card it hasn't got to be be all and everything so all i've done is the five that's one to support it in the middle and a few just to stick it to the card because once these foam pads are on they're usually on for good aren't they they've got mass stickiness here we go so I'm just going to pop that, I like it like that, sort of centre of the card and just pop it down. And then we've got the next layer. And again, I'm not even going to put one in the middle here because if you put your stickers not right to the edges, then they're hidden as well. It does hide, you know, some of the workings of it. It leaves a little bit of mystery in there. But these dies are absolutely fabulous and I do love, I've laid them out obviously and I love the way they're going to work together. 
and I have heard hints I heard um, someone say that there's going to be number three so watch this space you know how many combinations will we be able to make with another set that alone two sets it, it's just going to be a combination party and when your dies come it'll be fantastic to see everybody's makes we always enjoy looking and learning because we do learn as well from other people's samples so there we go I like the way this layer I've matted I've used the inner die of one of the sets and then I've used the matte die for a different set so if you can see we've got quite a little bit of white area it gives you more area to pop that bling on if you're a blinger like I am I do like my bling I'm just going to pop um, oh now the choices are all ours again you know because we've used a different mat on the inner side of this we've got all this area that we can add our our little hidden treasures nouveau drops you could use stickles stickles outline it i can remember when mandala dot um stamps first came out we would use the finest glue tips ever and try to trace the lines in and we'd add our glue and pop pop um all different color glitters into it and shake it off so that it looked like the mandala was actually colored in with glitter i haven't tried these yet but imagine them done in vellums oh that would be so delicate you could top them with vellum couldn't you that would just look stunning but so linda's always given us so much craftiness and we can't thank her enough for that because she's absolutely fantastic she must think it out right from raw to the delivery of what us us people out here are going to do with them just try not to be too slow i just want to get my bling in place like i'm i'm a lover of loose bling because if you use sticky bling you still need to stick it because if you don't it can come off in the post so just be in control and and get your loose bling it's lovely to work with my sister's one she's always got the loose bling left over from craft buddy that we use so there we go i think i've got to put some more i want one in the middle of that middles always cry out for a little bit don't they go so relaxing now you've got the option you could even put a little bling shall we put a little bling in the middle or is the detail the details enough there so i'm gonna be different it's okay to experiment and be different there we go the unicorns told me that by the way it's okay to be different don't tell me unicorns don't exist because i know they do the mermaids told me and if you can't believe a mermaid well what can you believe here we go oh it's not wanting to stick that one maybe my glue's just a little bit wet at the minute oh come on there you go but whether you like your sticky bling or your loose bling entirely up to you i find the loose bling is much cheaper and you can be as generous as you like with it and I like these dies also cut into your cardstock. You know, they're really versatile. They've really been thought about. They haven't just happened. There we go. So that's my first one done. So you can see it's, it's really quite pretty. I know the glue hasn't quite dried on the gems yet, but it gives you a de an idea of the detail and how how different they are compared to using one set of dies on their own i'll just do another one for you and we'll see how that goes together i'm doing it in the same colorway um the woodstock and the white and i hope it's going to give a totally different effect so i've used the outer die this time from um, volume two which is the one that is just on tv 
going to pop a little bit of this glue on my hand again and just pop the edges you don't you, we do use lots and lots of glue really and maybe we shouldn't we only need to stick it to the card don't we oh imagine a box you know a lovely box this would make a lovely lid on top of a box wouldn't it lovely way to decorate a box or another thing is you could cut six or eight of just the lacy elements fold them in half stick them together on their cells and it would fan out to make like a christmas bauble oh wow see the ideas are popping in there all the time then we've got this die was actually in volume one so we're using this one i think oh, that is beautiful the way i used to remember it is it's sort of like a star but then you've got like mr moons in there can you see the crescent moon but they're absolutely lovely and i think they mix and match really well i just can't wait to see what volume three and my greedy crafters eh can't wait to see what volume three is going to be like oh it's going to be a happy dance here you go we've got another one of these layers i think this one was in volume two with the mat from volume two there we go so we're just popping that onto its mat i like that they go onto little mats because then you've got that little burst of color coming from underneath and then we've got this uh, yeah a different middle again we've got this pretty flower flowery star and i've got the mat for the flowery star so we just pop that onto there there we go beautiful even if i say it myself so there we go we're going to again a six by six card at the minute i think that's quite my favorite size of card we're going to pop one in the middle just the foam pads one to there 12 o'clock six o'clock nine o'clock three o'clock that's how you do it because you don't need the support all the way around and when you start making a lot of cards you find that you go through absolutely loads of foam pads there we go i'm just going to pop that in the middle like that and this one you know you could twist this around i think this fits nice it fits within there but maybe you want to pop it round and have a bigger area just here it, it does give two different stories there doesn't it but i'm going to have it this way round we'll just pop a couple of foam pads on it i always cut my foam pads i'm not tight i'm careful there we go so we've got four we've had a glorious sun, summer haven't we with absolutely marvelous weather it's just a tad too hot for me though here we go and by holding just at two points you can see whether you're sort of midly hover until you're sure and then just pop it down we don't commit to the stick until we're sure there we go and then this one was from volume two so here we've got volume two volume one volume two and then i believe it's volume two again yeah i'm going to pop it there and then we're just going to pop this one on top so we've got actually four built up layers on this card very pretty and they're occasionless if you like this is pretty enough for a christmas a wedding um you name it it could be sent for it couldn't it shall we pop a little bit of bling on it we can and we will uh, one in the middle every time with me i'll just pop i'm gonna go with the clear again because i've got them out in the tray so i'm gonna pop one because we've got a nice little gap there between the point of the star and that little V with the dot detail we're going to pop one on the end of each of those 
these dice absolutely do make a beautifully balanced card and any skill level could make them you know you could cut a whole pile of this out of any play paper or what have you couldn't you and, and just let the kids get involved and watch what they create because often they pull an odd one out from up their sleeve and they can be absolutely fabulous and my my crafting journey actually started as a child um we cleared out dad's garage one weekend and dad says oh i'll give you some pocket money for that and i said well dad i might need a lot of pocket money he says why what do you want a lot of pocket money for i said well i want to run an art school i was probably only about six back then and i was still only little because i didn't grow very big and that's where my crafty journey took me my nan taught me to knit i love watercolor painting craft making card making and 3d objects even i'm never frightened to go in and have a go and that's that's what we want you to pick up the dies and say wow what am i going to do with these i done that last time let's do something different this time but if you get your favorite ways yeah just go ahead and carry on with it or i could get carried away with a bling here when is enough enough when do you say stop this is a hard thing you know you're going with your gel pen couldn't you or even your um i've got glue pens that i could go in and then do the glitter thing oh wow these are exciting days and exciting days that i'm going to stop because i don't want you getting bored of me going on so here we go and that's our second card absolutely beautiful there we go so when i show you the two cards together you can see neither of them are definitely cards that you would have made out of volume one or out of volume two these are a new combination of cards made out of volume one and volume two so very very exciting and I absolutely love these dies it's a good reason if you've already got volume one try to get volume two and then follow the collection through because you're going to need them you're going to love them anyway thank you for watching me this is Jan saying bye bye for now and all take care we love you loads <laughs>